Welcome to Around BI. In this tutorial, we are going to understand what a bubble chart is, what is best scenario to use it, and how we can create this chart in Web Intelligence. Let's start. First, our dummy data. Here is our vertical table that is showing population and area details for few states. Third column, percentage of total population is share of population for each state in total population. We will use this table for bubble chart demonstration. By definition, bubble chart is a type of chart that displays three dimensions of data. It means it is used when our data has three data series that each contain a set of values. In our case, each state is associated with three data points, population, area, and percentage of total population. So in bubble chart, this information can be plotted as a disk that expresses two of the values through the disk X and Y location and third through its size. If I show you bubble chart based on this data, check out this green disk. It is showing population and area for Florida through X and Y axis and disk size is presenting percentage of total population. Other important point to notice is that a bubble chart does not use a category axis. So both horizontal and vertical axis X and Y axis are value axis. If you have worked on a scatter chart, you will find that bubble chart is very much similar. Only difference is that a scatter chart uses two dimensions of data and bubble chart uses three, in which the data points are replaced with bubbles and a third dimension of the data is represented in the size of the bubbles. You can clearly see visual differences here. Let's see how we can create bubble chart in web intelligence. We will start with our sample data. We have to convert it to a bubble chart. Web Intelligence provides multiple options to convert a table to chart. Either I can select the table and in Report Elements, Tools and click Turn Into or right click the chart border and Turn Into and then More Transformations. It will open a list of available charts to choose in Web Intelligence. Bubble Chart and Scatter Chart is grouped under Point. So click Point and choose Bubble Chart. Right side pane is important to understand. Value axis 1 and 2 represents X and Y axis of the chart. Selected data points are population and area that we want to keep. Percentage of total population is selected for bubble width. That's our requirement because we want to see percentage of total population as relative size of the disk. If we want to change any object, we can click this drop down and can select other available objects. Bubble height, add another layer of information by adding height of the bubble based on values of selected object. If we do not select any object, all disk in the chart will be in a spherical shape. Region color is important to differentiate our dimension values. We will keep state object so that each state on the chart will be shown in different color. Region shape will add a unique shape or figure to each value of the selected dimension. For example, if I select state object, then shape of state Arizona and Florida will be different. And respective size of shapes will determine our third dimension, percentage of total population. We want all values as disk. So I will leave it blank. Assigning data is very important to understand. Let me summarize this part. Value axis 1, that is population, will go as x axis. Value axis 2 will be y axis. Bubble width is size of bubble. Bubble height, it represents respective height of a selected metric. If not selected, bubbles will be shown as circle. Region color is for differentiating color code for dimensional values. And region shape will add a unique shape or figure to each value of the selected dimension. If we do not select any object, then all shapes will be as a disk. We'll go back to our report. We are done with object selection here. We'll click apply and OK. Let's expand the chart a bit. Our bubble chart is ready for analysis. You can easily see that each data point is clearly representing respective area and population for state. And relative disk size is providing an easy comparison of percentage share of population. We will decorate this chart by modifying some properties. So right click the chart and select format chart. 
In global section, we will select palette and style. We will choose basic palette and transparency as 100%. Next, we will move down to scatter plot effects and we will select 3D button effect. Last change we will do in plot background. We will keep strip background. We will apply the changes and we will click OK. Chart is now looking impressive. This background lines give an idea about x axis values. We are done with this chart. In this tutorial, we saw that when we have a set of three related dimensions of data, it would be an ineffective way to put it on a flat 2D chart or by putting three column charts side by side, each for one dimension. Best way is to use bubble chart that puts together all the three parameters in one elegant visualization. Please share your feedback and comments with us. Thanks for watching.